What's going on guys, my name is Hypnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. For those of you who don't know, I make daily zombies videos and if you enjoy watching zombies videos then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So Mr. Scoot suggested an assault rifle from Modern Warfare 2, the TR-76 Geist. I honestly didn't use this thing much back in DMZ and I've never used it here in zombies so I'm definitely excited to see how this thing performs. Before I get into the build I'm using for the TR-76 Geist, I just quickly want to take a moment to thank Mitch Cactus for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in unlocking the MW3 Mastery camos such as the Interstellar and Borealis camo or playing easier lobbies where you can level up your guns and unlock camos rapidly, all the best schematics or even instant delivery of pre-made accounts then be sure to check out MitchCactus.com. They're the biggest and most reliable sellers with a bunch of new offerings for Modern Warfare 3 and they offer completely safe and legitimate services for Xbox, Playstation and PC. Be sure to use my code HYPNO for 5% off. So the build I'm using for the TR-76 Geist is as follows. We're using the Tactical Grip Tape Rare Grip for increased ADS speed and sprint to fire speed, the FSS Hardtop Comb for increased sprint to fire speed and ADS speed, the Demo Tac Pad Stock for increased ADS speed and sprint to fire speed, the Jack Glassless Optic since the iron sights on this gun aren't really the best, and last but not least we're using the 45 round mag. Thank you again to Mr. Scoot for the suggestion. If you guys have any other other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out then be sure to drop a comment below. So now that we went over the build I'm using for the TR-76 Geist I'd say it's time to head over to the tier 3 zone and the dark ether to see how it performs so I'll see you all there. Alright boys we made it to Urzikstan as you can see we got this thing to epic rarity and slapped on a pack 2 crystal. Um, let's just quickly see what contracts there are. Okay so there's no deliver cargo. Um, I think I think we'll start it off with a raid weapon stash just to get that easy self res and 5000 essence of course. Let's quickly look for a car there is that ATV back there. Quickly grab that and rush over to the tier 3 zone and I'll see you guys once I'm back there. Hold up wait a minute I see that free perk right there definitely gonna grab that hell yeah speed killer very nice. I've also been thinking of doing this challenge video where I infill with no weapons just a one plate and I'm only allowed to use lethals and tacticals to do all the tier 3 contracts until we get a dark ether sigil, head over to the dark ether and then finish that run as well with no weapons. Let me know what you guys think about that. Alright, yes, yeah, so there's still no deliver cargo so we'll definitely go do that raid weapon stash real quick. Should be an easy contract to do, we can just chill up there and uh, yeah, should be smooth sailing. Ooh, he almost got it. Almost, buddy. Good try. Good try. Okay, you know what? Let's let him into the team. Why not? We'll leave once we start doing the uh, bounty contracts. See, I'm a good guy, boys. I'm helping people out. Okay, so at pack two, at... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this. It's pack two with epic rarity. Of course, pack three will be a bit better, but so far it's... It's kind of shooting marshmallows, boys. We're kind of shooting marshmallows. Let's quickly chuck that decoy. There we go. Let's take some of these boys out. Nice. Yeah, then again, we also don't have dead shot as yet, so... wonder how it's going to perform once we have that. We can actually start hitting those criticals more often and, of course, get a bit of a damage buff for critical damage. Yeah, okay. Not sure how I'm feeling about this yet, boys. I mean, it's definitely doing some work. We'll see. We'll see. Um, we'll have to do quite a few contracts until we can actually get that shot, though, unfortunately. But it's all good. It's all good. Ooh, someone else wants to join the squad. Let's do it, boys. Let's do it. Let's see what we got off that. I'll provide stamina up and cryo freeze. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take that monkey bomb, too. Might come in handy later on. Okay. And, oh, dang. Hold up. Okay, no, we already have those. We Gucci, we Gucci. Alright, let's see what other contracts there are. There is that bounty contract back there. Um, okay, they're going for it too. Where's Pack Punch Machine is on the way. So, let's quickly go grab that. Yeah, I guess we'll go pick up this bounty contract here. We still have to do two more contracts to get to Pack 3. So, uh, yeah. We'll just let these boys carry me for a bit. <laughs> hey, it works, man. It works. Alright, we got a Mega Abomination as our target. Let's quickly rush back to this car right here. There we go. Not trying to go down quite yet. <laughs> Let's come over here. Where are you at, Mega? 
I see you back there. Yeah, I see you. No? Do I not see him? There we go. I see you now, buddy. All right. There we go. Laser attack's coming in. We can actually destroy one of his faces already. Beautiful. That'll have to do until the others get back here. Come on, boys. Come on, need some backup here. <laughs> we only had one thermite. All right. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, this is rough. There we go. <laughs> nice, nice. The boys are here. The boys are here. Let's go. All right, let's start hitting a few shots. On. I can't tell how much damage we're really doing. I'm not going to lie. Mm. Can't wait to get it at pack three, though. That's for sure. Oh, he's got a jug. Nice. My guy is ready for the action. There we go. Mega's almost dead. Just a few more shots, and there we go. <laughs> nice. Easy contract. Beautiful. Let's see what we got off that. Self-revive and elemental pop. The rare tool, uh, you know. That's some tier one loot right there, boys. <laughs> Alright, let's go do that deliver cargo contract. I guess I'll go pick up the contract and uh, get the LTV. So these boys can just head over to the gas station. And there we go, got the contract. See where those boys... Oh, they're still back there, though. Okay, hold on. I'll just grab the LTV and go pick them up then, I guess. Easy contract right there, though. And uh, we should be able to get pack three after this. So I'm definitely excited about that. I mean, it's... Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. So far, I'll have to give it like a 7 out of 10. But then again, it's just an epic tool and pack two, right? So... We'll be able to really judge this thing once it's a pack three. All right, let's go pick these boys up here. There we go. Come on, boys. Get in the car, boys. Get in. Get in. Oh, no, they're not coming for it. Okay, I'll just go deliver it with this guy then, I guess. It's all good. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, I do not want to chill back there for too long, and then the helicopter ends up blowing up the car. That would not be a good look, man. <laughs> and there we go. Cargo has been delivered. Let's see what we get. Sentry gun. Uh, I'll take it, I guess. Uh, and I'll just drop the mortar strike. We definitely don't need that thing. An extra self res. Thank you, sir. And a sigil. Hell yeah. I appreciate that, buddy. Thank you. Okay, so there's another bounty contract back there. Let's see if these boys... Okay. Which one do y'all want to do, man? Okay, no. He, <laughs> he accepted that one as well. Awesome. All right, let's quickly head over there, pick that up. Hopefully we get another Mega or something. Um, I should get pack three here soon though, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I think I'll go pick that up and then I'll make my way over to the Pack-a-Punch machine while these boys deal with the target. And after that, I might leave squad just so we can actually solo a bounty contract just to see how it performs. We'll see what I do though. But I'll definitely be solo for our Dark Ether run, that's for sure. And we got a Mimic. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Easy contract right there. Okay, Mimic's actually not too far from that pack machine. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to head over to that first. Just so we can max this gun out. As much as we can, at least, since we don't have that legendary tool, right? But, yeah. Should be a nice little boost to our damage output. Anyway, we can actually grab Deadshot Daiquiri right after getting this thing to pack 3, since Wonder Fizz is right next to us as well. There we go. Nice, nice. We're at pack three. Let's see if we can quickly grab Deadshot. Oh, no. Hold up. Hold up. There we go. Nice. Let's quickly unping that. Oh, hell no. Hold up. We're definitely gonna... I'll just unping it like that. We Gucci, we Gucci. All right, let's head over to that Mimic. Or actually, let's just quickly test this thing out now. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's seven out of ten. Just jump to like a eight on ten for sure. Yeah, damage output is great on this thing. I can just imagine with a legendary tool as well, this thing would just rip through everything. Nice. Okay, they finished the contract without me. It's all good, though. It's all good. Let's go see what we got off that one. Look at me here, looking like a Warzone player, just YYing the whole time. <laughs> there we go. Three plate, Jug, and Juggernog. Let's go. Hell yeah. Definitely happy about that. Awesome. Okay, what are they going to do now? Um, there is that bounty contract back there. Should I just should I just abandon these boys? Go pick that up. I mean, it's for video testing purposes, okay? That's all it's for, boys. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a dick here. 
Hey, look at that. My boy Exhausted has 95,000 essence, man. That is, yeah, that's insane. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and quickly leave squad. There we go. We're once again a solo player. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get a mega off this one. I would definitely appreciate that. But then again, you know, this game has a way of doing things that um, that I don't want. <laughs> Hold up. Did we not just? Oh, snap. There, there we go. Man, your boy's still waking up here, man. Oh, there we go. We actually survived it. Nice. Let's turn around and take these guys out. Let's see how quickly we kill that mimic, actually. Ah, uh, not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, damage output is, yeah. I think I'll stay with 8 on 10 for now. But we'll see once we're in the dark ether since, you know, things get a bit more hectic over there. Wait, boys, am I tripping or did we have a 3 plate? I'm so confused. The essence is glitching out. The 3 plate's glitching out. What is this? All right, there we go. Start hitting a few shots on them. Oh, oh, hold up. Let's come down here. Not trying to go down quite yet. There we go. Let's take out some of these normal zombies first, I guess, so we don't have to worry about them too much. Beautiful. All right. Slap on an armor plate, and we are ready to start fighting off that mimic. Come on, get that reload. There we go. Nice. Okay, okay, yeah, it looks like we're shooting marshmallows at him so far. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, let's quickly come up here. Ooh, there we go. Got some nice distance from all of those guys. If only we could turn that mimic, man. Or the mangler, rather. There we go. Beautiful. Ugh. Nice. Okay. Okay, yeah. Um, This is gonna take a minute to, <laughs> to kill that mimic. Yeah, I don't know, man. It seems to be good against the tier 3 zombies and also groups of zombies, but if you're fighting HVTs, this thing is not it. Almost took off a quarter of his health bar so far. Let's back it up again. There we go. Let's try to hit as many criticals as we can. Ooh. Reload speed's good. Overall mobility is pretty good, too. Definitely not going to deny that. Let's quickly throw that at him. Oh, what? Wait. What just downed us, boys? There's no, there's no way the Thermite actually downed us there, did it? That was a bit too far, wasn't it? Oh, man. Alright, let's come back here. We have an extra self-res, so we're fine. The only thing that's kind of messing me up is that plate glitch, so I don't know if we're fully plated or not most of the time, but yeah. Guess we only have one plate on right now. Let's quickly pick up a few extras. Definitely going to play it safe. There we go. Broke the Mangler's armor. Oh, let's back up again. There we go. Nice. Yeah, smooth sailing so far, but definitely not too impressed by this gun. Slowed down that Mangler, which is probably going to help out a bit. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, just a few more shots and we should get the kill here. There we go, we're getting camos now. That's just proof that I haven't used this thing in zombies. <laughs> Pretty sure it wasn't even maxed out when I started this video. You guys are going to see that once I throw up that build screen early on in the intro. There we go. Let's actually focus on that guy for a sec. There we go. Oh, we'll have to get that reload. We're so close to getting the kill now, though. Come on. Just a few more shots. And there we go. Contract complete. A large bag, an extra self-revive, and death perception. Not going to say no to that. Thank you very much. This guy dropped absolutely nothing for us. <laughs> Alright, so there's another bounty contract, but it's pretty much on the other side of the map. So those other guys are probably going to be able to pick it up before I can. Um, let's quickly hit a buy station and get a Casimir just to start setting up for our Dark Ether run. Ooh, actually, hold up. Deliver Cargo just spawned in next to us. Let's go grab that real quick while we're buying the Casimir. Come on, there we go. Uh, Casimir, nice. Awesome, so that's gonna turn into two Casimirs once we're in the dark ether. And uh, that's gonna help out with that ether extractor contract. Of course, we also have um, ether shrouds, so we don't really need a third Casimir, so we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Oh no, I did not mean to pick up that drill charge. Hold on, let's back up real quick. Take out some of these normal zombies. 
Nice. That did absolutely nothing. <laughs> Where's our thermite at? Oh no. Wait, what? Did it glitch out or something? I'm so confused, man. Uh, yeah. Seems like it glitched out. Definitely did. Alright, now let's loop back and pick up that LTV. And there we go, cargo delivered. Let's see what we get here, an extra large bag and an epic ether tool. I guess I'll take the epic tool. Why not? Um, yeah, we are pretty much ready for our dark ether run. Um, I might just go hit the perk machine real quick, get a few of the essential perks, and then we're ready. And by the way, boys, I won't be tombstoning this game because my tombstone glitched out again. So pretty much every time I down myself and load back in, tombstone's nowhere to be found. Like, I've even gone over to the cemetery just to see if it's, you know, a visual bug, but nope. Definitely not working out for us, so uh, it's kind of unfortunate. But I do have a friend who actively goes out and looks for schematics, so I'll try to organize something with him so that he can actually get the schematics for you guys, and I'll just continue exfilling until the problem gets solved. Um, there's two other friends who actually have the same issue as I do, so you know it's good to know that I'm not the only one. Um, yeah, so I'll I'll figure something out. Don't worry, boys. Don't worry. Okay, I guess I'll take Quick Revive real quick, just to help out with our health regeneration speed. Okay, so, I think in the last video I uploaded, we went over to the old Dark Aether, so let's go back to the new one, and once again, I'll just keep alternating between the two Dark Aethers, just to switch things up a bit. And there we go, we made it to the Dark Aether portal, let's use that sigil, accept the teleport, and I'll see you all in the tier 4 zone. And there we go, boys. We made it to the Dark Aether, so once you spawn in, just turn around and run into this warehouse building right here. Climb this little container, and jump through this window, and there we go. That's where you find the first contract, being the bounty contract. Now, usually you do get a Mega Abomination as your target. In this run here, as you can see, we're actually getting a Mangler. So, uh, yeah. Don't think I've ever fought a ma- Okay, no, we have. We have. Way back there. Okay. Yeah, we Gucci. We Gucci. I'll show you guys my strategy for taking that guy out. Now, if we're super lucky, there's going to be another Mangler that spawns there, just so we can hit him with that Brain Rot, and he's just going to annihilate our target. It's crazy how overpowered Brain Rot Manglers are honestly right so if you do get the manglers your target i'd recommend swinging over to this building right here and climbing up the ladder that's e7 on the map and it's also where you find the outlast contract because you can just parachute over towards the target from here and avoid all the zombies below you as you can see here yeah just makes it a bit easier less targets to worry about there we go Mangler's right there. Let's get his attention. Ooh, we'll definitely have to take out that Disciple before he uh, ends up healing that Mangler. Come on. There we go. Ooh, pretty sure we killed the Disciple. Not 100% sure, though. Let's take out some of these boys. There we go. Alright, so let's try to lure the Mangler over here. Just so we don't have all that fog to deal with. There we go. Oh no, is the Disciple still alive? Hold on, that's crazy. My guy really s Oh no, okay, that's another one. Okay, we Gucci, we Gucci. Alright, let's come back here. Start hitting a few more shots on him. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I think my rating of 8.5 out of 10 is definitely going to stay the same. Um, it's not in the OP category, but it gets the job done, right? Definitely a decent weapon. I like the overall feel of it, that's for sure. Take some more of these guys out. There we go. We'll actually have to try to hit his arm cannon here in a bit. But, uh, yeah. Let's take these guys out here as well. Man, that's a lot of zombie spawning. We don't even get the chance to focus on the mangler. <laughs> Alright, let's come back here. There we go. Hopefully we break his armor here soon so we can actually start hitting those criticals. What is this? Shooting marshmallows at the guy. There we go. Let's get that plate on again. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we might actually have to throw down Jug here if this continues. <laughs> what is this? There we go. Kind of missed out on that. Would have been able to break his cannon there relatively easily. But at least we broke his armor so we can actually hit criticals on the guy now. 
There we go. It took off about a quarter of his health bar. Yeah, once you start hitting those criticals, it's it's decent. But once again, definitely not in the OP category. Now, like the M16 or the FR Vancer is definitely a lot better than this thing. That's for sure. There we go. Probably hit the halfway mark there. Oh, let's back up. I just don't want that disciple healing our bounty target, man. That's the worst thing that could happen to us right now. Oh, come on. No. Oh, damn. Okay, let's burn that self res. It's all good. It's all good, boys. There we go. Let's focus on this guy while the zombies aren't focused on us. There we go. He's got about a quarter of his health bar left. Oh, can we do it? Nice. Oh, no. Okay, we should not have risked that. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. We have an extra self res. We'll just play it more safe now. There we go. Now the Disciple decides to focus on us. I see how it is. Alright, let's run around to this side. No way the Mangler healed up again. Boys. What is this? Screw those Disciples, man. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Well, let's, uh, let's just throw this thing down. We have to, man. That is super annoying. I swear. Super annoying. Alright, let's run back here. Come on. Jug, you need to land. Come on. I need you. There we go. I think it, yeah, it's down there. Perfect. Let's quickly grab that. There we go. We are ready to do some work. Let's take all these guys out. Focus on that mangler. Mangler's almost dead. And there we go. Beautiful. Quick and easy once you have <laughs> Jug. There we go. An extra self revive dead shot deck. I guess I'll stow that. And a VR 11 case. Thank you very much. Nice. All right. Let's just wait for Jug to finish off here. It's going to take us a minute to run back there if we have that Jug suit on the whole time. But yeah, that building I jumped off of earlier to come back here, that's where you find the second contract being the Outlast contract. So I'll just quickly run over there and I'll see you guys once we have the contract. But yeah, if you're looking for a gun to quote unquote make the Dark Aether easier, then this thing is not it. <laughs> Definitely not it. I would recommend the M16 or the FR Advancer if you're looking for a assault rifle to use. The M4 is pretty good too, I'm not gonna lie. That thing is disgusting. But yeah, there we go. Let's pick up that contract, climb over here. Now the P&D device is gonna be over at the diner where the Wonder Fizz was before it bugged out. So just parachute into this foggy area right here, climb up this hill, then climb these two walls, and there we go, we made it to the diner. Now just get the P&D device activated. Once that's active, just run back into the kitchens and climb on top of these freezers. Now all the zombies are going to kind of pile up right here. You might have zombies standing by that door and they'll throw meat at you. But you can basically just sit in this corner, crouch, and let Deadshot Daiquiri do all the work for you. Definitely a super easy contract. I mean, yeah, just look at that, boys. And of course, the zombies will deliver ammo and armor to you. So that's just a bonus. <laughs> now, if you want to, by all means, you can stay in the main room as well and just train the zombies around the entire time. I just like the action of sitting here and getting all these kills. So that's completely up to you. But just take your time. Don't take any unnecessary risks. And I'll see you guys once I'm done with the contract. Ooh, is that insta-kill I see right there? Okay, okay. I like it. I like it. <laughs> and there we go, boys. Contract complete. Now, once you finish that, most of the zombies will die. You might still have some zombies left alive back here in this room. So, got that disciple. Let's kill him real quick. That's brain rod zombie. Okay, an extra Elder Sigil. Let's go. Definitely hyped about that. And another VR-11. Um... I think I'll have to leave that in there, I'm not gonna lie. We have way too many VR-11s in our acquisition stash. Way too many. Okay, so once you finish that contract, make your way over to the mall. That's at I-6 on the map. Well, between I-6 and H-6. Then I'd recommend coming into this little room up ahead. I'll show that to you guys, because there's an ether tier here. There we go. That's just going to shoot you up into the sky and make it really easy to get on the roof. There's also a staircase inside the mall that you can go up or you can climb up from that parking garage. But I don't see why you would do that if you have the ether tier right there. Just makes it a bit quicker. 
So just pick up that contract and start running west immediately. And as you see up ahead, the three extractors just landed. Now let's just quickly and play it up here. There we go. So let's uh guess we can use a monkey bomb for the first one. Should do the trick. There we go. Let's just jump over to this building right here. Beautiful. Now just throw a monkey bomb at the ground next to the extractor. That's going to pull in all the zombies and it's going to let us disable the extractor. There we go. Beautiful. Then go ahead and equip your extra Casimirs and start running towards that second extractor. Throw that Casimir at that wall by the extractor. That's going to bounce off and once again it's going to pull in all the zombies and let us disable the extractor. Beautiful. And then just start running towards the third and final extractor up ahead. Uh, let's just come here. Okay, we'll have to throw it from this side here, I guess. Way too many zombies right there. Beautiful. And just disable this one as well. And there we go. That's pretty much contract complete right there. Quick and easy. Let's see what we get. An epic tool, or a legendary tool rather. And uh, that extra Elder Sigil. Definitely happy about that. Let's just burn this self res real quick. There we go. We Gucci. We Gucci. All right. Definitely some juicy loot in this run, boys. I'm happy about that. Um, Cryo Freeze, I guess I'll go ahead and drop. And I don't know, man. I don't really need the perks. I kind of just had them there as placeholders. So let's just drop those as well. Um, yeah pretty solid run so i guess the next video i upload will actually be going over to the elder dark ether but yeah man so the geist probably gets a uh, like a 7.5 out of 10 it's definitely not an overpowered weapon it gets the job done i guess if you're just fighting against normal zombies but once you're fighting hvts you do kind of struggle with this thing um the mobility and stuff is definitely good considering it's an ar Definitely fond of that, but yeah, definitely not in the OP category. If you're looking for an OP AR to use, once again, go ahead and use the FR Vancer or, of course, the M16, which is definitely one of the best guns. So, yeah, thank you for the suggestion. If you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out, then be sure to drop a comment below. Thank you all for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps out. Comment with any suggestions for future videos. And don't forget to subscribe to show your support to the channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever in the world you are. And as always, goodbye.